up guys hello and welcome i hope you are all having a wonderful day i guess first thing i should say if i'm a little quiet or like it seems like i'm whispering a little bit uh it's 3 a.m right now and i'm just you know trying to keep the volume down um so also if i yawn in the middle of this video that is also probably why because it's 3 a.m and i'm actually pretty tired but i'm recording a video anyways because why not uh, so, what we are going to be covering today is airline pilot. Uh, so, first thing that uh, I am going to do is show you where you're going to be buying the plane from. Uh, I just happened to be at the aircraft shop at SSIA. Uh, there's one at LSIA as well. Uh, you, it'll be in the same, like, it'll be the same idea, both of them. Uh, so... Uh, you'll be in passenger planes, and if you are just getting started, uh, right here, this is what you're going to be buying. The Vestra is 20000 requires airline pilot 1, and then you work your way up through. And once you get to a certain point, uh, like with the 737 and on, you also have to have a certain cargo pilot level to fly the plane that goes with all of the flying skills uh, once you get to a certain point you're gonna have to have the other skills leveled up as well so you sort of want to keep your flying skills so airline pilot cargo pilot and post-op uh, if you're doing uh, the flight version of that uh, which I will explain in the video on that how that works uh, you want to keep those sort of in line with each other so they're pretty much all at the same skill level okay so the next thing you're going to want to do is go to one of the plane spawn points uh, this one happens to be over here if you are at LSIA it's sort of like in the middle area right here so then you will just go into your planes and you'll see I have three of them uh, this is the passenger the cargo and then the post-op one uh, a lot of the times they aren't very well like labeled as to what they are exactly so you just kind of have to memorize which ones are for which skill okay so now that my plane is spawned in uh, and you may also be thinking hey you're in a way bigger plane than I am like is it gonna be any different no uh, it's gonna be the same pretty much the whole time uh, the only thing that changes is the amount of wait time whenever you are boarding and deboarding the plane. So uh, what you will see is these right here. It's sort of like a, I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a globe with the, I think it's a plane flying through it. Uh, there's one here and if you're at LSI, you have a few to choose from and you will actually see a, like circle on the ground where it is and there are a few rules that go along with doing airline pilot uh, the main rule is that you need to use ATC at all times it is not like through voice or anything so like you don't you don't need to worry about like contacting someone or anything uh, you just press in my case uh, X on the controller and I believe it is Tab? Yes, tab, if you're on uh, whatever this thing is called, a keyboard. <laughs> um, so, as you'll see, it has all of the airports on here. Just click on the airport you're on, and most of the time, just leave it on auto-detect. Uh, if it's incorrect, then it, it like you can't get in trouble for that. Uh, so, you just click on like whichever one you're taking off from, or landing on and you'll go and I'll show you whenever you're landing a little bit how that works uh, a little better as well as taking off you'll be able to see uh, how I go about doing that now another one of the rules that I should mention is that if you're in a smaller plane try to stick to the jet runways just because if there's people in bigger planes uh, they're required to land on the longer runways uh, and if you have a heavy plane it will tell you and it'll actually show up that you're restricted or like that you're not allowed to land on the jet runways so you can't even call uh, in the ATC to land on it 
And as you saw, I just drove into the circle, pressed uh, E, and then it's boarding, it's automatic, and then boom. And as you'll see on my minimap in the bottom right, that little blue dot showed up basically like right where I was facing, down here at, I believe this is uh, POA. Okay, so whenever you are calling your air traffic, uh, so because I'm going to be taking off from the main, I'm going to want to call it before I line up on the runway. And as you see, it gives me 20 seconds to like line up and take off, which you might think isn't enough, but like it's plenty. Like I probably called it a little too early there and I wasn't very well lined up. But as you can see, I was still able to like get off and take off before before the time ran out. So you should be okay whenever it comes to time for taking off. Just do it before you get on the runway and yeah, you'll be good. Okay, so that was actually a pretty short flight and honestly that's really all there is to it. There's not a whole lot much a whole lot more that I need to say other than like once I land and show you like how this works. Uh, so whenever you're coming in, sort of finding the distance that you want to call in the the ATC is it's sort of just trial and error. Um, just whenever you feel like you can land and have enough time to get off, like it gives you 30 seconds uh, to sort of, you know, just try and time it pretty well. Um, and then go ahead and land it. I'm probably gonna mess this up. Okay, no, we're good. I actually did okay. So yeah, that's all you do. And whenever you're actually doing it, all you have to do is like, uh, from here, like for main, just click enter. Or if I'm landing on the side, press enter on that and it'll auto detect and do it and this actually tells you what you're lined up to be landing for uh, so you can know what the best runway for you to land on is uh, and another thing that you may notice happening is uh, so I'll come back to that now uh, so once you are here you'll just drive into the white dot press E and you will start deboarding and it'll take about 40 seconds so it'll take a different amount of time based on what plane you're in. Uh, that is what changes with your level is how long that deboarding time is. I believe with like the starting Vestra, it's like six seconds, seven seconds, something like that. Like it's it's pretty short. Um, but whenever you get up to the bigger planes, it's like up to a minute, I think a minute and a half for some of them. It, it takes a while. Okay, and there we go. After the deboarding is done, as you will see, I got my XP tokens for airline pilot and the player tokens as well as the XP uh, and you also get paid for every stop as well. So something that you may notice is that the Mount Gordo Airport which is the airport right up here in the top right corner uh, there is a chance that whenever you try and land on it it won't load in so like you'll go to land but the like the ground won't be there uh, how you fix that is you go into your settings, advanced graphics, and then right here, this high detail streaming while flying, turn that on and that will fi hopefully fix the issue. If it doesn't, uh, then you're going to have to try and go below 80 nautical miles per hour, uh, uh, which you can see in the bottom left. Uh, try and slow down to below 80 as you're coming in and it should load in and yeah i think that's actually everything that you need to know about airline pilot so yeah hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions be sure to leave those down in the comment section or if you have any topics that you want me to cover sooner rather than later uh, leave those in the comment section as well and i'll be sure to get the get to those as soon as i can and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.